Hello everybody, Habibi here. Welcome back to my channel. As you know already that I'm developing a game, third person Unity game using this Unity star Starter Assets package. And you see here, I have this joystick controller, touchscreen joystick controller to control the look and the camera of the character. You can use it to look around but there is a question how to use the full screen how to make full screen uh, touch gesture to control the look and the camera of the player that is a question asked by my subscriber and I also have that question so I'm going to try to figure out to figure out how to use full screen how to make full screen camera controller touch gesture camera controller for this game so I'm going to stop this game and if you see we have this UI canvas starter asset input joysticks object here and it has this UI joystick look and there is a script here UI virtual joystick script and it has output that affects the UI canvas control input dot virtual look input and if you check this folder inside this starter assets pack you will have this you will see this mobile folder double click and you have this ui folder no prefabs folder virtual inputs <coughs> and there is a prefab which is useful for what we are going to do which is to make the full screen touch gesture controller for the camera or the look of the character we can use this prefab ui virtual touch zone so what i'm going to do is to drag and drop it here to make it a child of this ui canvas starter set input joystick uh, before we place it here as a child we need to unpack this prefab unpack it completely then drag and drop it here you will see this output field we need to do it the same way as this one joystick loop this one is joystick loop and this one we will use it as touch zone loop so this one it is using this object as a reference and it affects the virtual input so here I will do the same thing I'm going to drag and drop this object here and then I choose UI canvas controller input virtual loop input and one more thing which is the magnitude multiplier which is 30 here we need to set the multiplier for this one for the touch zone let's say we use 50 this one is for the sensitivity or the speed of the uh, gesture so that's all we have this touch zone touch zone area if you want to use it as a full screen touch gesture controller you can just click this object and make it full screen this way and if you want to adjust the opacity of the touch zone just bring the opacity the alpha channel to zero and if you don't want this handle you can just disable the image image uh, component here and if you play the game you will be able to 
use the touch gesture controller for the camera and the look controller for of the player in this game here is the game running you cannot see the touch zone area because its opacity is zero and we cannot test it here in this in this uh, unity editor because because it doesn't have pouch input so i want to show you this on my mobile phone this one hang on i have it here i already installed on my phone to show you how the touch zone works here it is uh, the game on my phone if you can see it I don't know if you can see it or not and this is the touch zone that I have I did not set it full screen so if I try to touch and drag on this area I can control the camera and the look camera look what do you call it the camera yeah I can control the camera position to look around in this game okay that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching see you next time bye bye